Hi, Joe Handy here with another IAC tip of the month. We are still working through our five reasons that moisture gets inside your bag house. We're going to assume that you've already watched our first three parts and you've addressed it. So you've sealed up any leaky doors, you've uh, troubleshot your pulse jet system uh, to keep moisture out of your compressed air, and you've also found any pinpoint holes in your ductwork leading up to the bag house that may be pulling in outside air. So now we're to the fourth reason, which if you're running a plant, you know darn well if it's you contributing to it because of where you are or what you do. A lot of bag houses ventilate pieces of equipment that are designed to pull moisture out of a product. So we're talking about rotary dryers, uh, fluid bed dryers, flash dryers, uh, sometimes classifiers. There's lots of uh, pieces of manufacturing equipment that are sending moisture to a bag house. Sometimes there's not a lot that we can do about that because it is your process. But it is made worse when you're maybe in a coastal area or you're in a part of the country that has high humidity or even if your process is batched or you shut down every night or on the weekends and then you're passing through what's called dew point where what is water vapor in the bag house becomes water droplets that condense out and cause lots of operational issues in the bag house. This topic's a little more complex and we can talk to you more about it. Uh, if you think this might be a problem for you, give us a call at that number that you see on the screen. This is our IAC fourth of five moisture in a bag house tips of the month. Thanks for watching.